Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do. Let's get right to it. Today we're going to be taking a look at storage, and it's a ICO per se, sort of. It's a uh, crowdfunding for a coin that essentially is switching onto the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, the actual event is going to happen three days from now on May 19th. And it's an opportunity to get in on a new coin on Ethereum, and it's not getting a lot of hype. And I just wanted to cover it really quickly with you guys. Um, let me run through the numbers here. I got it up on my screen. Um, as you can see right here, the pre-sale is going to be $100,000 raised at $0.40 cents a token. Cool. You've probably already missed the boat on that one. Um, essentially, if you go to the website storage.io and uh, go to the pre-sale, you'll see that you can sign up for the early sale. I'm sure there's already a lot of people in line for that one. Your tokens would have been locked up for six months, though, if you did that. So that's for the people who are in it for the long haul. Now, there's another pre-sale that maybe you'll get into, but even that I doubt, and it's $50,000 at $0.45. Cents. Okay, so that's an option, but it gets locked up for three months that way. Retail price is going to be $0.50, cents, and, you get locked, and you're not locked in. You can have those funds pretty much right away. So it's kind of cool, kind of unique, but really the 100,000 and the 50,000 is a super early bird special. Um, it's something that um, is probably sailed and not something that is of consideration for you. So, um, but if you want to try, feel free to sign up. I have no idea where that information goes when you do that though. <laughs> Just being honest. Now here's what I actually want to look at. I was uh, taking a look at this the other day. I was talking to my friend in cryptocurrency and you know, looking at storage. I'm like, why is no one hyped up about this? Why aren't people putting money into this? What's going on? And, um, you know, he, he's done a lot more research on a lot of the, the um, cloud uh, storage concepts that exist and different types of coins and things like that. And, you know, I was looking at, I was looking at storage and I'm like, man, it kind of offers a little more than others and kind of looks good to me. I like it. And, uh, you know, and then I saw I had an ICO switching to Ethereum and I got all excited. So I started really looking into it, trying to understand exactly what's going on here. And what I want to show you here is on the charts um, that is very interesting and maybe even concerning. I guess it depends how you want to look at it. The announcement was made on May 8th. So to do this sale, essentially we're going to sell at this price. What's interesting is at that time, even if you adjust for BAC, you can see here it topped out at about 60 cents, 59 cents, right up in here hit an all-time high so it literally hit an all-time high okay and then they're like hey we're gonna sell it for like 10 cents less at retail and then like you know maybe less for some other people okay the market reacted look at this sharp sharp very sharp downward spiral spiral to almost the lowest it had been in about a month now, what's interesting is it's continued to bounce around here. And I think that this is an indicator of the markets right now, guys. This is uh, fascinating. <laughs> a lot of us are making a lot of money right now because of the money moving into the markets. A lot of it is very dumb money. I think proof of that is the fact that right here you can see people are actually purchasing um, at times higher than 50 cents um, recently as recent as today 54 cents so people are paying more than what you can pick it up for in just a couple days you know if I had if I had an exchange where I could be shorting this every time it got above 50 cents I'd do it it's free money here I don't I just don't even get it um, I would be buying at 46 cents. It looks like it keeps on hitting 46 over and over again. I'd set a buy order in the 46 range and just sit back, wait for it to fill, and then I'd set my sell at 50 cents, and I'd do it over and over and over again. 
kind of weird. You know, I, I kind of get a bad vibe about the fact that um, they did it this way. Like, it's like, you guys were going up in value. You hit an all-time high. Maybe it was already planned. I'll give them that. But, like, it just kind of seems weird to me. So, anyhow, money-making opportunity, guys. I don't, I don't quite understand um, what's going on. But what I do know is there is stupid money here. Why would you pay 52 cents right now? In three days, you can get it for 50, right? Um, if it were strictly my professional opinion, it should be right at 49 to 48 cents bouncing back and forth. But I don't know what, I, I, I can't even explain it. And maybe one of you guys can, but I think it's very interesting that it's spiking like that. People just don't know what they're putting their money into anymore. They just have a lot of money and they just want to get their skin in the game or maybe they're just throwing it at everything, right? You know, this spike right here looks like some kind of, like, super rich dude just came in and was like, you know, I'm just going to buy all the, you know, the tw top, you know, 30 coins and, you know, drop a few hundred K into each or something like that. I don't know. Um, but that's essentially what's happening. Um, so, with that being said, there's a money-making opportunity. There's stupid money coming into the market. We just hit $58 billion. We're probably going to cross 59 uh, very shortly and get into the 60s here. So the money is just pouring into the market. You have your money anywhere. You probably made money today, which is which is awesome. But um, storage is a good opportunity for the next two and a half days to keep potentially flipping within that range that I mentioned. So keep an eye out for that. Now, going back to the actual pre-sale, um, I will say this. I, I think the one thing that gives me a little bit of confidence in this coin is that they are on the Azure platform, like that, like they're going to be working with Microsoft directly. Um, I know that they're doing a lot of their focus over in China more than over here, and so for us um, that aren't over there, it's difficult for us to see and feel potentially what that would look like, and uh, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, right? So, is there potential here? Yeah, sure. I mean, what happens if uh, Microsoft decides to use this particular technology? and um, they use it for encrypting and putting every single license on the blockchain so they know exactly where it is and who owns it and all the logins like that's a that's potential right they, that's a very real thing um, that is actually what Microsoft has been begging for since the mid 90s when people started figuring out how to copy the software for free right uh, I can't imagine what Microsoft's profits would be if they could stop all the piracy. So, it's just something to think about. Um, this one, um, you know, this particular sale, I don't know why you would do it. You can go buy it for cheap right now. So, don't do it. Just go set your buys at like 45 cents, 46 cents. You'll probably hit between now and then. It keeps hitting every day. So, that's my best advice, guys. Don't invest in this uh, fundraising opportunity, unless it's just something you believe in or you believe in the people and you wanna help them out or whatever, but just go buy some coins. Because if you go back and you look at the chart, it was at an all time high before the announcement. There is a, a pressure being built up that is going to be released. It could shoot to the moon for all we know, right? Or it could be worthless. As always guys, I am not a financial advisor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will hit subscribe if you like this type of information, like these little tricks that I find sometimes. I like breaking the system, guys. I like I like finding exploits, um, and this one might be one for you. So let me know how it goes. Uh, if you pick some up, let me know. I'm just curious who's out there playing around, um, trying new things. Let me know how it goes. I like to learn from you guys. Make sure you hit subscribe. You hit give me a like. Um, go ahead and follow me on Steemit. I really, man, I got a lot of followers on Steemit now. It's pretty cool. Um, I appreciate you guys giving me upvotes and things like that. Um, it's pretty cool to, to see the power of that platform. So I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'll be back again tonight with some more content. So again, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more cryptocurrency news, insights, blockchain technology and all the good things especially mountain dew so i'm the king of dew guys may the force be with you
I'll talk to you soon.